Hi, this is Lynn Suzek and this is Faith Talk. Well, I've been talking in faith to people and the more I talk in faith, the more crazy it sounds to the natural mind. So faith is going to sound weird and not natural, not make sense to the natural. So you really have to get used to... Um, I, don't, I used to say supernatural, but it's really just the truth. And the natural thinking is without the full truth. Um, natural thinking is only what you're seeing in the physical, and the truth encompasses the spiritual realm uh, as well. So, supernatural. And um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to say this one is things are better than they seem. <laughs> As I talk to other people experiencing a lot of symptoms that are out of control and crazy, just, you know, having to deal with lots of pain and things, my advice to anyone that is willing to listen in faith is that it's hard to know it's really hard to believe how well we are by looking at the Bible and knowing that we are already well you know we have to be convinced and and your maturity in that would be being able to accept the fact that you are well and you're not sick no matter what your body is doing it's not correct and if you can accept that because the truth is that Jesus uh, took all our sins and sicknesses so it's not possible for us to be in sin I know that's you reject that if you want there's a verse that says um, and we cannot sin because of Jesus taking our sins away. We, we cannot sin. So based on that, we cannot be sick either because Jesus took our, our sicknesses. So I, I speak to people about the fact that we're not really sick. And, it's, um, and the tricking that's going on in our minds. So the more convinced of the truth we are, the, more, the less symptoms we'll have. And... Um, there, and you can you can see that's true by the like the days that some people have good days and bad days. You're not gonna have consistently bad days. They go up and down, back and forth because the truth is they're not real. So when you do get distracted from the bad feelings and the symptoms, that's the truth. That's the truth. When you're not feeling all that, and you're not, you know, you have like way less pain, and you, and you, you know, your natural mind says, "I'm the truth." So when you feel that pain and that discomfort, and you know, you're having all these reactions, that's the truth. Who are you gonna believe? Your natural body or the Word of God? So, I, I've, you know, I've said this over and over, and it's just so true. Who are you going to believe? And you've got to start thinking and realizing that the truth is when I feel good. That's the truth. The bad symptoms we want will have less and less of or completely gone if we can um, continue to convince ourselves of the truth. And it, as much as we want to believe... Um, natural thinking can take over and it is an enmity with the Word of God that's what the Bible says enmity so the natural mind is at enmity it's not gonna agree with God's Word so we have to conquer the flesh the the um, the natural body the the more that I study and understand the imagination carries all of our symptoms even the manifestation of a paralysis is coming from the imagination. So how much is physically apparent 
like um, a tumor can disappear even. Um, things that you can see uh, in injuries, things that you can, they, everything can change very quickly as uh, we would call supernatural. But how that happens is by our, our continual um, submission to the truth. So in, in all humility, admit that your natural thinking is incorrect. You know, whether you're in pain or you have uh, a disability or a disease, it's not, the good news is it's not real. And even though a person can continue to believe the lie and even die from it, it's still not true. You can die from a lie. And I've, I've used examples before about people thinking in fear that something is happening to them and actually dying. But it, 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 no, it wasn't. Whether it's freezing to death, even though they weren't. Um, so if you're tricked into thinking, and, I'm, and again, I've had a moment during a church that a person said what they were hearing for me and it was that you're not really paralyzed you just think you are and I held on to that and said okay well I, I you know wished I could just snap out of it at that point but I still believe that's correct I'm not really paralyzed my body or my mind just thinks I am and when I can get unbrainwashed into the truth that I'm not paralyzed it's gonna release and I'm uh, every day hoping today is the day uh, and continually focusing on what I have, what the truth is, all my ability and um, actually kind of waking up to things like, gee, I've been able to push back even when I thought I was going to fall out of my chair. Push? Am I pushing with my legs and I don't know it? I, I always send you know, uh, I send signals into my legs as if I could move them or and just trying to and every part of my body and I don't see the movement but I feel like I am pushing and so I just continue to do that and at some point I don't know when and how and uh, it's just gonna happen but um, I am I'm sold on the fact that I'm not really paralyzed because Jesus took all my sicknesses and diseases and injuries um, by his wounds I was made whole um, and everything gets healed everything is healed so the, if you can grasp it anything that's going on with you is not even real it can be changed in a minute and um, and that that would be humbling for us to believe so if you believe the Word of God you can believe that you're not really sick and start thinking and focusing on that idea and I've talked about all that before but um, as I speak to people and realize how hard this is to accept but people that have experienced things and in, in faith um, it they can they can receive the truth of this so I keep encouraging. It's not as bad as you think. It's not what it seems. It's better than you think. Things are better than you than you um, believe they are. So when you realize my body's in better condition than I even realize, things are happening. Um, I'm. I'm. Uh, it's not what it seems. If you can accept the fact that you have been imagining things, lies, that, that you have, you're experiencing things that aren't really true, the more that you can believe that, that it's not true what you're feeling, that um, your physical condition is better than you think, the faster it'll change. So these are the, the symptoms of recovery, the symptoms of the stuff that healing is made of, the evidence of the truth, uh, by admitting that this more and more that you're not sick, you're not even 
um, paralyzed and starting to notice and have the thoughts come to you that things are better than you think they are. Amen. Have a great weekend, the rest of the day, beautiful day.